Hi, I'm going to quickly show you how to add voice to your Voki. First, choose the Voki that you want to add voice to. It'll appear over here. Then choose the edit button and the edit options will appear on your screen. Okay, so you can see that you have four options for adding voice. One is to call in, record by phone. The other is to use text-to-speech. Third is to record with a microphone. And fourth is to upload audio that you created on your computer. So let's start with record by phone. Click the option and you will see that you are given a phone number. So just dial this phone number and use this passcode and record your voice. When you are finished, press pound. Okay, so here's my message. Hi, my name is Sam and I am the assistant professor for this class. I'm going to help you by giving you technology tips throughout the semester. If you have any questions, be sure to ask whenever you can. To hear your Congratulations, your okay. message is saved and will be available on your screen. All right, so my message is saved, so just make sure that you follow the prompt. Hi, my name is Sam, and I am the assistant professor for okay. this class. I'm going to help you by getting... Okay, so as you heard, the message will play, and then you will be prompted to save it by giving it a name, and I'm just going to say Sam1, and then I'm going to say OK. Now it's saving it, and now when I play Sam. Hi, my name is Sam, and I am the assistant professor. Okay, so then you can hear your own voice with your Vokey. Okay, the second option is very easy. Text-to-speech, just go ahead and click on text-to-speech, and when the box comes up, just type in what it is that you want to say in your Vokey, or <laughs> that you want your Vokey to say, and then once you're finished, you can um, hit done, but you also can choose the voice. So if you wanted to have a female voice, a male voice, and so forth, you have some options. And obviously, if you wanted to have a different accent, you could as well. So once you're there, done there, just go ahead and uh, hit done. Okay, so now I can play Samantha with my text to speech. Hi, my name is Samantha. I am the assistant professor for this class. So then she plays using text to speech. Next, let's try adding a voice just by using a microphone on your computer. So go ahead and click this option, and then you will see that there is a dialog that pops up to allow oddcast.com, which is the owner of Boki, to record using your microphone on your, com on your computer. You just say allow, and then go ahead and close it. You can also make sure that it's using the correct microphone that you want to use, and uh, uh, set the volume level on that. And then just close it and you're ready to record. Okay, I'm just going to hit the record button and start recording. Hi, my name is Samantha and I will be the assistant professor in this class this semester. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay, hit stop and then it will Hi, play. My name is Samantha and I will be the assistant professor in this class this semester. Okay, and then you just hit save and name it. So I name this one oh, uh, Sam2 and click OK. And now it's going to produce. Mm. Hi, my name is Samantha and I will be the assistant professor. Okay, if it sounds the way you want it to, then go ahead and hit done and be done. If it's not, then hit cancel and re-record. Now the fourth option is to record audio on your computer outside of Voki and then upload it. Okay, so to record audio on your computer, go into your Windows, I'm on a PC, uh, go into your accessories folder and then choose sound recorder. And then this little box will pop up. And all you have to do is click the start recording button and start talking and it will record audio uh, for about a minute, I believe. I don't think you could talk more than a minute. And once you've recorded audio, go ahead and click stop and then it will bring up the dialog box to save it, whatever you want it to be, and then save it somewhere that you're going to know where to find it. I'm gonna put it on my desktop. And then once you're finished, you can exit out of this and go into Voki. Okay, so quickly you would just browse for that file and once you find it, just click upload and your video will show up in this list here and you can add it to your Voki. All right, that's it.